Hello, welcome back. In this video, we are going to cover how to download and install Git on Windows operating system and then use Mobile X to verify our installation. Let's get started. Before we jump into the installation, let's quickly touch on why we're installing Git. Git an essential tool for version control. More on that later in the course, by the way. For now, just know that it allows you to track changes, collaborate on projects, and manage code effectively. Git is a cornerstone of modern development workflows. Therefore, it is going to be one of the tools you will use very often, both during learning and in the real world. Now that that's out of the way, First, you will need to download the software by opening your web browser and navigate to the official Git website. And that is git-scm.com. And by the way, SCM stands for Source Code Management. On the Git website, you'll find a download link for Windows. Click on it and the download should start automatically. The website typically offers the latest version ensuring you have access to the most recent features and security updates. Once the download is complete, locate the downloaded file in your download folder and double click it to start the installation process. The Git Setup Wizard will guide you through several steps. You can accept the default settings for most options, but pay attention to the following. You might want to stick with Veeam, which we will be learning in the Linux course and it is the default here. Or you may select another editor if you're more comfortable with it. With regards to adjusting your path environment, choose the option that allows you to use Git for the Windows command prompt. Now, all of these may not really make sense to you. For now, just follow along and it will all make sense somewhere down the line. Finally, with regards to configuring the line ending conversions, it's generally recommended to check out Windows hyphen style, commit unit style line endings. This is required for compatibility between different platforms. Once the installation is complete, it's time to test it out. To test, we will use mobile XTERM. And so open mobile XTERM from your startup menu or desktop shortcut in mobile XTERM Click on the Start Local Terminal button. This action opens a new terminal tab where you can enter Unix-like command directly on your Windows machine. To ensure Git is installed correctly, type the following command in the mobile XTERM terminal and press Enter. If Git has been successfully installed, you see the version number of Git displayed in the terminal. This confirms that Git is ready to use on your system. Congratulations, you successfully downloaded and installed Git on your Windows machine and you verified the installation using Mobile XTERM. Next, you'll create a GitHub account and also install Visual Studio Code and I'll see you there. 